So today on our episode, I thought that we should talk a little bit about something important, and that is how do I work out at home? I know right now the gyms are closed and we probably don't have equipment at home, or at least not all of us. I know I don't have very much here. Um, so we kind of are making an excuse not to work out. So what's really important to think about this is your body is used to being active. It's used to being pushed sometimes to the extreme. Uh, we work, sometimes we have kids we're running around with. There is a whole lot going on in our life and because we have stopped, our body is kind of going to shock. It doesn't know what to do. It has all this energy and all this stuff that it needs to extract and have us work off that we're not and it doesn't know what to do with it. So guess what it's gonna do? Yes, that's right. It's gonna store it as fat. I know we all know this, but we're not doing anything to stop it. I know me personally, I've been looking in the mirror and I can definitely see a difference. I've been sitting on my butt a lot. I've been watching TV, I've been playing games, um, doing paint nights and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. But I'm not really being active. So I'm trying to get outside a little bit more now, walking. Um, it's been beautiful, so we've been going out biking. Uh, we were outside for a couple hours the other day. It was gorgeous, so I do want to keep doing more of that. Um, but sometimes we don't always have the options to leave our house if we have small kids or if we're taking care of someone uh, right now with needs where we can't be outside. So this is one thing you can do from home. You don't need any equipment. Although if you do have equipment, there are uh, different um, um, different ways you can do the workouts that you can incorporate those to make it an even better workout. So I want to share that with you. And on top of all of this put together, because we're at home and we don't have the distractions of work and running around and doing all the things that are chaotic and take all of our time and our energy and um, it distracts us from eating. We are now eating probably more than we ever do. I know normally I don't eat a breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in between, all that stuff. Normally, I start the smoothie in the morning, around lunchtime I eat, and then I have a bigger dinner. I've always been bad for snacking at night, but I don't really pick too much in between that. We all see pictures on Facebook. We all know that we're all getting a little bit bigger. It's okay. It's all right. But I stepped on my scale the other day, and I was not happy. So I'm going to do something about it and if you are not happy and you want to do something about it, there are some really cool things that I would like to share with you before we begin. So I'm Snapchatting with my best friend Jess the other day and she's sitting there and she is eating a fruit salad. She's been working out, she's been doing great, she's like a size 2, she's tiny. But she's eating a fruit salad, she's being good. What am I doing? The same thing, right? Wow, well, by the way, I have a jar of candy. That's okay. The fruit. Once she's done lapping at me, she goes, Haley, no, no, I got, can't. I gotta be a mom and tell you, gummy bears are not fruit. They're not. They're not breakfast, they're not fruit. What are you doing? And as much as it pains me to say this, she's right. Gummy bears are not fruit. And we are all, I'm sure, making exceptions for crap that we normally would not do. So an important message out of that is we need to really pay attention to what we're eating and putting into our bodies. But that is not enough. We also need to be active. We need to work this off. We need to get out there, get our bodies moving, do something so we're not kind of getting in a front because guess what? A couple months, a couple weeks, who knows? We are all going to be back at work and dragging our asses and kicking ourselves for it because we didn't do it right now. So I'm not saying don't relax or have fun, but just make time to work out. It's really not that long, so just take a few minutes, pause your TV, clear some space in your living room, and let's work out. Sometimes it's hard just to know where the fuck to begin. So I want to share this workout with you and maybe not super, super easy, it may not be like your first day, but it's like a boot camp. It's to get yourself active, get started, and if it's something that you enjoy, there is a full 30 day program that is included in the link below because 
I did not make this up. This is not something I just came up with off the top of my head. I follow this woman from Australia. Her name is Ashley Byrne. If you want to check her out, give her a Google or down the link below, I have her link uh, to a few of her apps. So she does videos and she has a couple apps. This one specifically is from the app that I'm doing. It's called 30 Day Ab Challenge. Yes, but it's not just all about your abs and your core. It is a full body workout because that is important. Um, no part of your body is more important than another. You do want to do a full head to toe workout but it is something that is going to focus directly on those target areas because the beaches are just starting to open up and uh, I know I'm not ready yet. So let's get there together. <laughs> One thing that is super cool about her videos is if you have gym equipment or if you're able to get to a gym, there are so many workouts and they'll tell you what pieces of equipment to use for what parts of your body. But if not, this is what I really, 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 really like. If you have to work out at home or you know outside or wherever you want to go you just want to pick up go out in the middle of nowhere and just kind of work out you can do everything from at home with just your body so that's one thing i really like and you don't have to pick one or the other you can switch back and forth it gives you a whole bunch of different options but what else is it is made a hundred percent for you um they will ask you a whole bunch of questions when you do the app and they'll let you know like kind of what type of body you are how you put on weight, take off weight, all those kind of important questions. And they designed the workout specifically for those target areas and reasons and blah, 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 that I don't really know very much about, but they work. So all you need is to have enough space to move around so that you're not gonna hit or kick or punch or, you know, disrupt anything around you. Something kind of loose to wear, comfy. I like running shoes. I find I have better uh, stability and grip and balance when I'm wearing them. Um, also, you want to stay hydrated. Having water is awesome. Me personally, I add fruit. Sometimes I add like mint or cucumber or something in my water. I don't always like drinking water. So this is a good way just to kind of make it a little bit fruitier. But yeah, you don't really need anything else. If you'd like to incorporate more, at one point I do use a medicine ball. Um, if you don't have one of those, you can use anything with a bit of weight to it. Uh, I used to use like the big juice containers. Um, a backpack big book but you don't have to use it that's just something if you want to add a little bit more to it just to push yourself that little extra um, every bit does count so if you want to do extra that's awesome also don't forget this is a video if anytime you're tired you take a break grab some water um, breathe for a second recollect yourself just pause the video get back in as soon as you're ready and we'll keep working out together I don't know if I said before the playlist that I'm listening to tonight is Haley's iPod. It's in my playlist as well as in the description below. If you want a little music to listen to while you're working out, I know I do. Um, just pop your earbuds in, throw it on in the background, and let's get started, all right? So before every workout, it is really important to make sure we get our body moving. We want to stretch our muscles and make sure that we're doing things safe. We don't wanna hurt ourselves, it's our number one thing. So first you're going to be in a space where you have lots of room to move around. I find it's easier when I have a wall or object to move into. And we are going to do lateral swings. So with your leg on the outside, you're going to up and back. Eight to 10 times per side. It's important to keep your back straight the whole time. It's important whenever you do one side, you want to make sure you're doing to the other. Afterwards, you're going to face your object, and on the inside, we're going to do lateral swings. I'm starting with my right leg. Just going back and forth as much as I can. Trying to keep my back straight as much as possible. You go as high as you can. I am not very in shape, so.
and it'll come back. All right, and from here, we are going to get in two dips. So, I balance on one leg. Start by having your hands above your head. And as you bring your hands down to touch the ground, you're going to bring your other leg out behind you. And you're going to go back up. And we're going to do this eight to ten times per side. Remember, go at your own speed. Remember to breathe. Most importantly, keep your body straight and your core tight. All right, switch to the other side. Put this on the front. Arms up. And then your dip. If you find that you're losing your balance, try and slow down, suck in your tummy muscles, and squeeze your butt. Sounds funny, but it totally works. If you lose count, that's okay if you do more. All right, next we're gonna do what we call the can cans. So everyone knows the can can, right? And one knee up, one knee up. We're gonna do this more to the side. But when we're doing this, we're also going to twist our body. It'll help get in here. So it'll look like this. And you do it to the opposite of what you're doing. I'm gonna try that one again. So ten on one side. Do you can stay on the other side? One. on our high kicks. We're going to do the arms. Opposite. So get warm already. All right. Next, what we're gonna do is a walking lunge. So I kind of have a lot of rain here. What I do? So I walk as far as I can. Turn around. Walk back the other way. Go down. I have this kind of flat. Your knees not touching the ground. On the other side. Bring them up. Do the same thing on the other side. Keep your back straight. Everything in. Go. I can only go somebody. I'm gonna go back the other way. And this is the one I was saying. If you have a medicine ball or a little weight, something on a six, not super high. It's gonna add a little bit of better movement to it. So, I'm gonna go down, twist, twist, back up, twist. Twist, keeping my back straight the whole time. Yeah. 
All right. Next, we're going to do lateral twists. We're going to go down to one knee. We're going to go up. Move your arms down. We'll be like Press your body. We're going to do that at We're gonna do the same. The other side. So have it this way. Down. Up. No worries, you're not perfect at it. Just practice. I know I'm not great. Whew. All right. So last, we're going to leg swings. So always hold on to something. You're going to lift the leg up, 90 degrees, and then up as if it's over something. And then just touch your toes to the ground, and back up. Feel like it for your hips. We're going to do the same. This side. It does a lot. I thought I was making some cracks and tops today. Keep going on. Grab a glass of water, now's the time. Then we'll be right back here. Next, we're going to do a squatting lunge. So that is pretty much just like a stationary lunge. So one foot out, down, up. And we're going to do this 12 times. Get the back straight. Come in, squeeze the butt. Get to breathe. And do the same on the other Those are hard, I haven't done those in a while. Guess what? We're gonna do it three more times. Next, Next we're gonna do tippy toe squats. So, what do I do? I'm gonna get up on your tippy toes, go down your squat, we fit down, up, down, up, and stand back up. I don't have it good on the other camera, so we're gonna do it this way. your tippy toes, down to your squat, take it down, up, down, up, and then come up, and we're going to do that 12 times. Back straight, butt out. Come in. Ooh. 
You feel it? Right in your calves. Bring it back. Do it three more times. All right. So next is a stationary lunge. Down, up, back down, up, and you swing your leg, you're going to swing it back and forth four times. You do this 12 times per side. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to keep my balance. Sure, how long? Then you go on the other side. Alright, so now we have finished the initial beginning of our workout. This next part is going to burn. This is like what does the most magic. So this part you want to go consecutively, you want to go really hard. So I'm going to show you the two moves we're going to do. We're going to do 10 reps of each of them and we're going to repeat those four times without stopping. So this is the part where you're going to want to die a little bit. But push through. Try to pause if you can help it. If you have to pause, that's okay. But if you push through, you are going to get the best result. At least so I'm told. So, anyway, this one we're going to have to yell. So, if you want to take a glass of water first before we start, and now it's time to be done. Alright. So, for this one, we are doing twists. We're going to lay down. And you're gonna want something that you can kind of like hold on to with your hands. Kind of like flat down. Pull your leg up. Twist your hip. Down. Turn your hip again. Back up. Twist your hip. And down. That's gonna keep doing this. Straighten your legs the better. I can't do that. From this position, we're going to do leg twist. Three, up. One side, try to keep my back straight. To the center. To the other side. Back up. Hold this 12 times.
Alright. I'm tired now. So I know that you put kind of on that. So we did our stretches, we did our workout, we did our burn. Now before we finish, it is really important to stretch out those muscles again to help you kind of relax, wind down. Um, you want to make sure you're taking really good care of your body. So first we're gonna do is if you happen to have a stretch band, that's awesome. If you don't, I need socks, those are awesome. Everybody has those. Uh, or like a cloth, a towel, anything you have. It just helps you really get a good stretch. So I'm gonna lay down. I'll take her band. Put it on our foot. Put our other foot down. We're gonna pull it towards us. And keep the legs straight again. Feel that like your calf kind of behind your knee, look into your thigh. You don't want it to hurt. You want to feel it. Breathe in, and when you let go, just pull a little bit closer. Slowly release. On a switch feet. And repeat the same thing on the other side. Breathing is super important, don't forget. Next, we're going to make sure we work the stretching at our glutes. Now lay back down, hip your knees up, cross one knee over, take your hands and reach behind the sky here, and bring your legs towards your chest. I feel that in your outer leg for sure. each movement. Try and hold for at least 20-30 seconds. The longer the better. It'll feel really good. We can kind of feel that tummy too bit. Next, we want to make sure we're stretching out our hips. So, from kneeling position, put one knee up, and bring it slightly in front of your body, and then forward. You'll feel it right here. Push it forward so most of your weight is on your front. And if you want extra feel, take your opposite arm to your leg, pull it over, go ahead. I'll stretch all of it. I was like, that still fit on my back. Move back from kneeling. Turn up slightly, slightly more forward. Kneeling forward. Keeping our back straight. And we can take our opposite hand again, up and over. Take that nice stretch. Pull up through here and also up through your leg. Alright, and the last one, also for your hips. And your, I can call it abductor. Here, sit. Feet together. Pull on your toes. And try and bring your knees close as you can to the ground. Super hard. So don't expect to get them all the way down. If you do, you're a superstar.
I feel it right in the air. Side. Sometimes I like to lean forward into it just a little bit. You can go all the way down the ground, it's awesome, but I just want to go forward just a little bit. Make sure try and keep your back. Oh. All right, guys, so that's it. I hope that you feel good about working out today. I know it's not necessarily an easy one, but oh. done. It's over. Go on with your day. You did it. So thank you again for joining me doing a 30-minute workout. Um, we're going to do a couple more workouts and videos in the future. Um, I have had requests for a yoga video. Um, which I think is awesome, especially right before bed, stretching down. You're going to have an amazing sleep. So that's one I want to work on for the future. But we have some really cool stuff coming up before then. I will be sending out a teaser this week. So please stay tuned for another night of where the fuck do I begin. That's going to be different. We've done painting. We've now done working out. So what's next week going to be? Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my page. Uh, just below here. So leave some comments. I want to know what you want to know how to learn.